Here's another video for you. It's been three days since I did anything. Took a little vacation, but we're back on it. If you can recall, I sprayed these doors in my last video of the 96. Now I'm about to spray the jams on the car itself. Also the roof and up under the hood and the deck lid. I'm gonna take out that in a minute and show you what we're gonna be doing. Still got a mask all this here. But it's good and dry now though. So ain't gonna be no problem. Been sitting here three days. Y'all wait one second, we'll go outside. All right, here's the 96. Everything off of it, of course, the doors, the hood. I done painted up under the hood, I'm putting the deck lid. Like I said, only thing left is painting uh, this part up under the hood. Cause I'm gonna paint this part with the exterior of the car. I just gotta do from here down. And I was thinking about painting these hinges, color match the hinges. Not sure on that yet. And I gotta paint from here inside. Cause once I put the doors on, I'm not gonna be able to get it. Still gotta take the molding off. And like I said, also, I'm gonna paint the roof when I paint the jams because I got a cut off line right here. You're not gonna be able to tell. I won't have no paint line because I cut it off in here. And I gotta paint up under the deck lid. And I also will be spraying, just missing the color on right here, which is gonna be covered up, but I'm still gonna paint it. I'm not gonna worry about getting too much clear on it, but I'm gonna put some color back there. Let me round up everything what I'm gonna be using for a sanding, then I'll cut you back on. I guess before we start sanding, we'll remove everything that we don't want no paint on it. Like this molding. Also, the uh, dome light switch, we're gonna remove that. And the latch. Also, we gotta fish this wire on the inside to get it out the way. Got the dome light switched there as well in the molding. So we'll take care of that first.
here's some of the stuff I took off. I got me marking some tape and um marking where everything goes so I ain't gotta worry about trying to figure out where it go once I paint it. It's a lot faster doing it like this here. I like the mode I got passenger back, passenger front, same way with these here. But um the dome light switches I decided not to worry about taking these off here because you can see the the little rubber cover is dry rotted so he gonna have to get some more I'm just gonna tape this part here up and paint them paint the metal part let me show you I'm gonna tape this up and I'm gonna paint the metal part and also I gotta get this adhesive up because there's some right here I'm not gonna worry about the back side just the front side and I'm gonna clean it up with some wax and grease remover Once I do that, then we'll round up all the sandpaper. You can see that. This is what I'm gonna do. I got an old scotch brite. You can use a rag, but I gotta sand it anyway, so I'm gonna use this scotch brite. Put some of this wax and rich move on it. The adhesive come right up. Also sanding at the same time, so I'm killing two birds with one stone. What y'all think about that? Like I said, I'm not worrying about the back side because I gotta tape it up anyway. I'm a back mask it. Here's the stuff I'm gonna be using for sanding. I'm gonna use this maroon scotch bright and this is by 3M 07447. I'm gonna use that on the good areas, such as the areas that ain't got no body work. I'm gonna just scuff it up. But up here where I did the body work, I got some guide coat on it. I'm gonna wet sand it with some 400 grit. I'm gonna cut this in half and drop it in my soap and water and I got a rigid block and a soft block I'm going to be using this rigid block though go ahead and put that in there and I cut me a piece piece off here if I can do it with one hand y'all bear with me now alright then I put this in my water for a minute or two and then we'll get started on the roof Wet sand. sanding now now I take my soapy water got some fresh water now I wipe it down get ready to put it on the inside all right we in now 
we're gonna start doing the masking. I'm gonna be back masking the doors, the panoramic roof, also the trunk. And I'm gonna put masking over the entire car because I don't want no overspray or nothing getting on the the body work I done did. It'll give me more work for trying to get it off. Mask up the glass. I'll probably do that first. Get that on out the way. Let me get you caught up on the masking. I had ran a piece of paper along this bottom side to keep the overspray off the frame and suspension parts. But I also did all the trim outs. So I'm gonna cover up the fender, the back masking. What I meant by back masking, see the tape on the back side? So when I mask it off, I won't have no paint laying here. If I would have put the tape on the front side, it would have been a paint line. Got all this done. Well, I had put some duct tape here just to try to hold this uh, weather stripping up so I can get some paint up on that. But you can see it I'm pulled away. This side is still, still holding. So I'm going to have to put a little bit more just to keep it up there. Now. All I gotta do is run some plastic over the entire car. And once I put it over the entire car, I'll go back and cut out all my spots that need to be cut out. Oh, I, done, I already done did the uh, panoramic opening. I got this box down in here to keep that uh, plastic from flapping when I start spraying this to hold it down. I just finished up with all the masking. I'm gonna work around the car, show you what I got. Got this cardboard right here to keep it away from the muffler. I also put a, I used the sock to cover the muffler, but I put that cardboard, keep that overspray from blowing up in there. Also for the bumper bracket, right there. Finally got this mold and have it stay in place once I put some more duct tape on it. Gotta see it off there. Same way with the front. Windshield. Engine bay. I also be painting another one of these here because the last one I painted it started reacting. I'm afraid this one's gonna do the same because I could see dimples in it. Cause that's what the other one was doing. Once I put it out in the sun it started reacting. So the owner sent me another one. Hopefully it don't do it, but who knows. Okay, this is the following morning. 
After I finished masking, I didn't do anything else. I wanted to start fresh, so I waited today. So now we're gonna take some wax and grease remover and wipe the surface down because we was touching the surface with our hand. The hand probably had grease all on it, plus the tape. So we need to wipe it down. And once we wipe it down, we're gonna spray a seal on it. We're gonna put one coat, one coat of seal. Then we'll go to our base coat. The silica gonna be a dark gray because our base gonna be dark. So our base will be able to cover a lot easier with that silica. On it. Three coats, not three coats, one coat uh, uh cellar. I'm so used to spraying three coats, so just programmed in my mind. But here's one coat of cellar. Now we'll mix up the base. It's gonna be a navy blue.
the base. Still flashing. By the time I mix up this pearl, it'll be good to go. Go ahead and spread it. Here's the pearl here. Cut this fan off so you can hit me. Okay, there's three coats of pearl. Everything turned out great so far. Dogs then came up in here. They hear me out here. Yeah, I need to get on up out of here. Smelling these chemicals, I need to get out of here also. But I just wanted to cut you back on and show you these. Well, show you this uh, step here. Here goes the clear.
go. Three coats of that Oh My Grant Sam Clear. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this here. Got a little trash here at the top. But ain't nothing what a cutting buff can't take out. So I think about the flip. The blue to green. It's that dirty sprite. That's what they call it. I kept having problems right here. My mask and it kept coming a loose. See, I ain't gotta worry about spraying this time. My battery died. So I had to go get the other battery and cut it back on. One more step, we'll be painting the car. Once I put the doors, everything back on, go ahead and put the panoramic in. Cause I ain't gotta do nothing else to this top except cutting buffet. Take you back here to the trunk. I went on and got coverage all up in here, even though it's going to be covered up. Get some protection. All right, next time y'all see a video on this car here, we're gonna be painting it. So y'all stay tuned, get in the comment section, tell me what y'all think. Yeah, the paint battles though. <laughs>